moving on to the larger, latest model, which is the Boulder. Um, the Boulder uses the same base drivers as the two-way rock, but uh, this is a true three-way monitor. One thing I didn't mention earlier, which is an important thing to mention, is, uh, is the front baffle. It's made of uh, Corian, DuPont material, uh, half resin and an element of uh, aluminium, which shows it because it is very strong, uh, has a lot of mass, rigidity, uh, doesn't have any resonant frequency, and uh, we can machine it to, to, um, to, to accept the, the drive units. Um, and that's in turn bonded to the plywood cabinet. We don't use MDF, we use plywood, it sounds better. Uh, so the front baffle is, is like this thick, with a combination of the, the Corian and the, uh, and the wood. So we don't have any flexing, it's, it's very solid. So all the energy is, is being transmitted forward, there's, there's no uh, flexing. Um, and then we have something unique. This is the Elax top of the range unit. So this is, as I said, it's a true three-way. These are both doing bass. Uh, a lot of people assume from other manufacturers that one is bass and one is mid. They're both running bass. They both have dedicated low frequency amplifiers running them. The same amplifiers that we use in the rock. This is actually, in fact, a, a dual concentric drive unit. So we have the same uh, 50k folded ribbon tweeter in the middle and on the outside we have a 5 inch mid-range. And the advantage of, of this dual concentric design is it's point source. You don't have any phase timing issues with a, with a separate tweeter mid-range unit. Uh, we eliminate that. Um, and that's unique. No one, no one has anything like this. We're very proud to be able to use that. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you the rear panel now of the boulder. We have the balanced input and we have the volume control. Uh, we gave in to a few comments from some people uh, about EQ and stuff. So we didn't do anything on the rock, but we took the opportunity with the boulder to have some subtle um, switches on the back for tonal um, preferences. So uh, we have a 10K high frequency shelf switch here, which is plus or minus 2 dB. Some people want a little bit of extra air in the top end, some people don't, some people want to leave it flat, so we just gave them a simple choice. And then we have an also a mid-range cut here uh, underneath. You can cut the whole output of the mid-range or you can boost it by the same 2.5 dB. It's just it's subtle contouring really. Um, and these will go down to 39 hertz, it's the frequency response, uh, it's a minus 3 dB point. Uh, and bearing in mind, being again being a sealed cabinet, the base roll-off is 12 dB per octave versus a 24 dB per octave that you would get with a traditional port design.